After BAM North Phoenix, the next store was only a 20 minute drive away. So we got there, I accidentally pulled out the microphone cable again. Five employees. And we got started at Zach's Bricks. So here I am at Zach's Bricks with Andrew. And you are the owner, correct? Yes, that's correct. So where did the name Zach's Bricks come from? Well, we, when we were coming up with a name, I wanted to do something kind of paying an homage to Lego. If you remember Zach, Zach the Lego Maniac from the 90s. Zach, Zach, he's a Lego Maniac. Zach's Bricks is what it became, and that's where we're at. I love that. That's awesome. And you are in Phoenix with about 50 bricks and minifigures. What would you say sets you apart from those stores? Well, my concept is more of a kid environment. Um, when I started this, it's more for play. Um, with the pricing on some of the sets, we have some used sets, uh, the minifigures, um, our bulk brick. I want it to be so that when a child comes in, they can purchase with you know a certain amount of allowance or whatever they're, whatever they're working with and they can come in and maximize their money to get toys, to buy something, to be creative. And you know, then we also do have some of the more expensive things. And that's for the collectors out there. So you know, trying to bridge um, both of them together with the collectors and with kids and allowing you know, the dad that comes in that he collects the Star Wars. Well, he wants this. Maybe the kid wants something that's you know, less expensive. And it, it's kind of that option is kind of where I went with. My grandfather was a civil engineer and he would always buy me Legos and my parents would always buy me Legos. And because my birthday and Christmas are very close together by 10 days apart, I would sometimes get a bigger gift because that's what I wanted. I wanted the big castle set or something. I have all of my old Legos. They're actually in a big tub in my garage at my house. Uh, but yeah, I actually got a space set in that is from, I believe it was 86. And when I got it in, I was like really excited because it gave me that nostalgic throwback because it had the 9 volt battery box with the little lights oh, and yeah. the sirens. So whenever I'd push it, you know, it kind of go off. And when I grew up, that was like the highlight. I think from right here, I can see three black pearls and two Queen Anne's Revenges. I'm kind of on a pirate ship kick right now. But... <laughs> yeah, I kind of got on this whole like Pirates of the Caribbean, like little like I had to buy them, so I bought the Queen Anne, and then my daughter claimed it. So then I got another Queen Anne, and then I got another Queen Anne, and then I picked up a couple black pearls. Uh, but you know, some of them didn't have sales, some were missing some pieces. So, you know, going with Bricklink, getting the replacement parts, putting everything back together as it should be. Um, you know, that, that's fun. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. Those ships are definitely cool, the sails and just how they go together. And they're, they're really neat builds. I like them. Do you have a favorite uh, theme overall? I like the UCS stuff. Um, I do like the Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the boats. I, I like the design of them. I like the detail work in them. I think that they look really cool. The Scooby-Doo, I like that. It breaks my heart when I put it in the case and somebody comes in, but I know that, you know, they're coming in and they're excited to get it. So, you know, it's going from one person to another that's going to get enjoyment out of it. Yeah. One day I looked on eBay and I saw the Keebler Elf. And I was like, oh my gosh, he'd be so cool. So I bid on him, won him. I got Toucan Sam, and then he also had Tony the Tiger. So the limousine is actually part of a wedding set. It's just kind of turned into limousine lunchtime from regular show with the characters from Adventure Time. I was going to ask what do you think your, your oldest set is, but I think I got the police station. Uh, yeah, so I guess that is the oldest set. Well, thanks for letting me uh, come in on your day off. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. It, it, I love the store, I love the colors, I love the designs, I love the atmosphere. Well, thank you. Okay, this is the haul from Zach's Bricks. I got this little Bionicle guy, mostly because I love this piece. And these figures are really goofy looking, so I liked it. Thank you, Andrew, for that. Um, this I bought. I don't know who it is. I think I know who it is. I think it's the Blue Bird guy. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm actually even more happy that this is this guy instead of the bird guy. This is what I felt, and uh, I thought he came with the bird guy. Hi, Future John here. Uh, bird guy does not exist. I was thinking of the blue eagle guy, but um, I looked him up and he is not in existence. Maybe it was some concept video that I remembered incorrectly, but uh, 
that's all. Here's the Mutt. I think his name's Mutt. Do you know? No. Okay. This really cool bust. Gucci. And then we have a bunch of stuff he kept giving to the girls, which was super nice of him and it made them super happy. Keychains, key, singular, keychain, holographic sticker, regular sticker, two magnets, stickers, stickers, glitter stickers, glitter stickers, really cool business card. Tell us about these two. This is a police girl. She is a bad guy because she helps, well, Poison Ivy girl, she helps her get across the police station. But police are usually good guys, but this one's a bad guy. Our next one is a fireman. Again, he's a bad guy. The cop and this guy are both married. He helps the robbers get past to, um, he has some really cool accessories. Yeah, that's a really cool shield. I don't know what that's from. Yeah, um, and I found this. That might end up in daddy's collection. It's oh, it may be fun. Um, and this really cool. So yeah, those are my characters. So these are my characters. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna put the mic on you. This is my character. This is Poison Ivy Girl. Her hair's um, brown and this boy too. I think this has like something on the back, but it has like kind of vang teeth and kind of like a little bit eyeshadow. So yeah, let's start on to the boy. This is Poison Ivy Boy. Um, he has Poison Ivy things on him. So there we are. I guess the girls were in a bad guy theme today, but uh, we got some really cool figs. So thanks again, Andrew, and go check out Zach's Bricks. So you guys like Legos or no? <laughs> yeah. You know they what? have to, it's a requirement. You know, what are the- I love that you call them Legos. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's always been Legos, so. <laughs> yes.